Maryville hoping to earn a repeat trip there, standing in their way an all too familiar opponent. Oakland and Maryville have met seven straight times in the semis. Home team has won the last five. The Patriots strike first. Jordan James caps a long drive with a two yard touchdown run. Seven nothing. Now this is the way things went all night for the Rebels. Great play call to get the first down on the direct snap, but a false start stalled the drive. Second quarter now, more from Jordan James. You're seeing why Tennessee and Georgia both offer this kid. He's five pushed out at about the two yard line. They'd score on the next play 14 nothing and then late in the half. Who else but James again finding the end zone. Oakland cruises to the 6A state title game 49 to 7. Six sports Tim Owens was on the sidelines in Murfreesboro for a disappointing end to the Rebel season. Tim. Yeah, this is not how they saw this game going when they left Maryville this afternoon to come out here to Murfreesboro, but things just did not click for this Maryville football team. They didn't play, as Coach Hunt said, Maryville football tonight, and they came up short in the state semifinals. Yeah, I mean, you know, let I me mean, first say I'm just thankful that we got to this point in this season, and our kids had a phenomenal year, and, and we didn't play Maryville football tonight. Everything I feel like that could have gone against us did, um, but I love my kids. I'm so proud of them, and, and these seniors, this senior class, you know, to get back to this point, what an accomplishment, you know, uh, to get to play in the semifinals and, uh, for the 21st year in a row. And uh, they just, they were gritty and uh, it just wasn't our night. But I love them and I'm proud of them and uh, we're very thankful. So for the 21st straight year, Maryville makes it all the way to the state semifinals, but they come up a little bit short of that ticket to Cookville. Reporting in Murfreesboro, I'm Tim Owens. So the home team prevails once again. Oakland advances to the state title game with a perfect record. They face Brentwood on Saturday night.